Today's topic is called integer subtraction, problem type three. So in this problem, I kind of like to think about subtraction as adding a negative. So when we see this subtraction sign, say negative 40, oh, PS, please subscribe to my channel and like any videos that, oh wait, what was I doing here? That, that are helpful to you. I'm trying to talk and write at the same time. That doesn't work for me. So we can change this to a plus negative 21. So we want to see that 21 in this problem as a negative 21. So we're adding two negatives together. If they're the same sign and you're adding, the answer will be the same sign. So we're adding these two negatives. So our answer will be negative. And it's a negative 67. For the next problem, um, because it is a two negatives in a row, when we have double negatives, it's like saying negative one times negative one, it becomes a positive. So this becomes a negative three plus a positive nine. Because of those two negatives, it's gonna change to a positive. So when you have an odd number of negative, so like this one with the minus sign, minus and negative are pretty much the same, or could be considered the same type sign. So because there's an odd number of negatives, that 21 stays negative. So here, when we see an even number of negatives, that two negatives, it makes it a positive. So negative three plus nine, what we want to do is we want to act like we're subtracting nine minus three, which is a six. Because the nine was the biggest, uh, was the had the greatest absolute value. It's the farthest number away from zero. Then the answer will take on that sign of that the number that's the farthest away from zero. So because nine is positive, then our answer will also be positive, and it will be a six. Okay, so let's see. We'll go to the next one. No. Nah. That's not what I wanted to do. Go back. I wanted to do integer subtraction, problem type three. Okay, here's another one. So we have um, two minus sign, which is gonna make it a plus sign. And two plus nine is 11, the 11. And then we look at the next problem and we have one minus sign, so it stays negative. So we have negative 48 and a negative 40, and we're just going to add those two together, which is negative 88. All right, let's do another problem. Okay, so we have that one minus sign. So the 44 stays negative. Notice that negative 44 is farthest away from zero. It has the greatest absolute value. So when we subtract 44 minus 22, we get 22. Because this was the one that was the minuend or the first number that we used in our subtraction problem, our answer will take on that sign and it will be a negative 22. And the second one is double negative. So it's like we're adding eight plus one, which would be nine. Okay, that's the end of the lesson.